Chris test run on the motor circuit. Success. Okay, all well, the hard part's done. I just have to clean up this old motor and get the nameplate covered up so I can paint it and make that look a little better. The last step in the process is to remount the motor after I have the motor and the frame cleaned up and painted. Both ends of the motor are suspended in a rubber shock absorbing ring this ring is clamped into the frame with metal clips that hook into the pockets on the frame. Like so. This goes into there and that slips into there. When I went to put the junction box back on, I realized that there was some interference. But that's easily fixed. All I have to do is loosen up the screws. And I can rotate the motor inside the frame. Start the screw, pop up the little plastic ring, and we're good to go. Draw that down snug. Make sure I got clearance. Everything looks okay. Now all I have to do is tighten these screws up. Make sure I draw them down snug. I don't want to strip the threads. This motor gets a lot of vibration from running and I don't want it coming loose.
This motor was designed with oil ports on each one of the bearings. These are plain bearings, in other words, just bushings. You have to make sure and oil them. This video is the last one in a series of uh, rewiring and cleaning, painting the South Bend lathe motor. Made it a lot better. I'm a lot more secure about how the wiring looks. My next step, and there's always a next step, is to change the motor mount and the counter shaft mount on the lathe. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, be sure and click like. If you want, you can subscribe to the channel and get all of the videos that I've done on everything that Old Sneelock does in his workshop. Also, you'll get notified of any new videos that are coming out. So, if you want to support the channel, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.